welcome on this Sunday morning in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and welcome wherever you are. It's our Sunday together but apart for Upper Thames and you can probably see behind me, I hope you can, the Tower of St Samson's Church and a painting of Holy Cross Church with its churchyard uh, full of snowdrops. So these opening words seem particularly apt just at the moment. We come from scattered lives to meet with God. Let us recognise his presence with us. As God's people, we have gathered. Let us worship him together. May the light and the peace of the risen Christ be with you. We have as our opening words some words from the letter, first letter of Peter, chapter 1. Through Christ you've come to trust in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are set on God. That's right to urge us to set our faith and our hope on God. So we come now to our confession. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with the living bread. Lord, have mercy. May the Father of all mercies cleanse us from our sins and restore us in his image to the praise and glory of his name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Before we hear the words of our gospel, the collect, which collects our thoughts and prayers for this Sunday. Risen Christ, you filled your disciples with boldness and fresh hope. Strengthen us to proclaim your risen life and fill us with your peace to the glory of God the Father. Amen. I wonder if you can imagine two people who'd known Jesus and they're returning home on a journey back to their village full of the Good Friday event in their minds. We have in common with them fears, doubts. They had doubts of who Jesus was, but they've heard rumours of angels telling some women that Jesus was alive. As they journey, Jesus walks alongside them as they walk back to Emmaus, but they don't recognise him. He hears their discussions and asks what they're talking about. They tell him all that happened to the man that they'd hoped would be God's promised one and who would bring freedom to God's people. Still unrecognised, Jesus explained to them how the prophecies in the scriptures foretold of the Messiah to come and they listen to his words. We continue the account from Luke's Gospel, chapter 24, beginning at verse 28. They came near the village of Emmaus, and Jesus acted as if he was going farther, but they urged him, saying, Stay with us, the day is almost ended, and evening draws near. So they went in to stay with them, so he went in. And joining them at the supper table, Jesus took some bread. He blessed it, broke it, and began sharing it with them. 
Then their eyes were opened and they recognised him and he vanished from their sight. They said to each other, when he talked to us on the road, it felt like a fire burning as he explained to us the true meaning of the scriptures. So the two got up then and there and went back to Jerusalem and told what had happened on the road to the eleven and the friends who were gathered there. They told of how they recognised Jesus when he broke and shared the bread with them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Yes, we share their journey. Theirs is a physical journey. Ours is a time journey of life as we travel through these coronavirus times. And Jesus drew alongside them. And sometimes Jesus draws alongside us too. In the people who offer us help, whose words we listen to or not whose eyes, whose hands and whose feet support us in this time. They didn't recognise Jesus. May we recognise Jesus in those who help us and may we recognise the face of Jesus in those who need our help. Jesus, throughout his ministry, shared meals with many people. You can probably think of some, the feeding of the 5,000, a meal with Lazarus, a meal with Simon, when the woman poured oil on Jesus' feet. Many occasions happened when lives came together in a shared meal, just as you're doing in your homes and we are as we gather together now. In our homes, we may well share biscuits, cake, buns, a cooked dinner, a takeaway, fish and chips, pizza, whatever it may be. Like the two who were travelling home to Emmaus, we can invite Jesus. Because he said, where two or three are gathered, there am I. And we can, as he did, give thanks as we come together for a meal, for all the blessings that we have. He is with us when we share a meal. And when, as 2,000 years ago, a couple of people in a tiny village met and recognised Jesus, may we remember how we can recognise Jesus' presence at our table as we give thanks, as we take bread, and if we break it and share with one another, we remember his body given for us. Let's look out for Jesus and recognise his presence with us here today. Let's come now to our prayers. And aware of the world around us, of which we are experiencing blessings as well as difficulties, we remember that Jesus at that shared meal gave thanks. And we pause and in our hearts we give thanks for the good things of this time, for the blessings we receive each day. We pray for children and families faced with homeschooling alongside working parents. Families facing no work or lack of money. Children's, children whose homes are not happy or not safe. We lift them to you, Lord, and pray 
for their safekeeping. We give thanks for NHS staff and carers and all key workers, including teachers and all staff in our schools. All of them risk their lives for us. Keep them, Lord, under the shadow of your wings. We pray for those with ill health in body, mind or spirit and those who are bereaved. We think of those we know and those from our communities. Lord, bring them your comfort and your peace. And we pray for ourselves. Lord Jesus, we thank you for all that you have done for us. Help us to share your love and to live as Easter people of hope. Amen. An affirmation for this Sunday. Christ died for our sins, was buried and was raised to life on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. Afterwards, he appeared to his followers and to all the apostles. This we have received, this we believe. Amen. An invitation. Come to this table where the living Christ offers us bread broken for our journeying and wine poured out for our tears. Share together in this meal. Whoever you are, wherever you may be, hear the risen Christ call and accept God's invitation to new life. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. God our Creator, loving and faithful, holy and strong, you sent your Son to live among us. Jesus, our Saviour, Mary's child. He suffered on the cross. He died to save us from our sins. He rose in glory from the dead. You send your spirit to bring new life to the world and clothe us with power from on high. We hear from Matthew's Gospel of another meal which Jesus shared with his friends where he broke bread. When evening came, Jesus was at the table with the twelve disciples. As they were eating, Jesus took bread and gave thanks. He broke it, gave it to his disciples and said, take, eat, this is my body. And when he had taken a cup and given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. For this is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. We do this to remember him. As Jesus taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So, God of love, we give you thanks for these signs of broken bread and wine outpoured. May they speak to us of the everyday made holy, of oppression turned to freedom, of fear turned to peace, of doubt turned to faith. May we not cling to what is past, but answer joyfully the to the calling to live your risen life in the world you have made new. Amen. In a minute we will end our service. You will see the possibility to um, move to a video of a hymn or a video of our full reading for today. May you have a very blessed Sunday. God, who through the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ has given us the victory, give you joy and peace in your faith and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with each of you and those you love and pray for this day and always. Amen. <laughs>